this following video, if you are struggling to choose between a Dogo Argentino also known as the Argentine Mastiff, and a Doberman Pinscher also known as the Doberman, we have compiled all the detailed information you need to know to help you make the best choice. So let's begin the fight. Intimidation Factor An adult male Dogo Argentino stands at a height of 24 to 26 inches at the withers, and weighs between 40 to 45 kilograms. They are large, powerful, athletic, muscular dogs with long legs. The Dogo gives the impression of explosive power and energy, whereas an adult male Doberman stands at a height of 26 to 28 inches at the withers, and weighs between 40 to 45 kilograms. Their bodies are well muscled, lean and athletic that shows they have a lot of power and strength. However, in our opinion, the Dogo Argentino have got all the hallmarks of an intimidating breed as compared to a Doberman. So one point to Dogo Argentino. Dogo Argentino 1 Doberman 0. Powerful and loudest bark. Let's hear it first and we'll decide accordingly. <laughs> In our opinion the Dogo Argentino has a powerful bark, so one point to Dogo Argentino. Dogo Argentino 2 Doberman 0 Bite Force Among the two, the Dogo Argentino pressure bite top 500 psi while that of a Doberman measured 229 psi. So one point to Dogo Argentino. Dogo Argentino 3 Doberman 0 AKC Fast Cat Run 2020 The average of three fastest 100 meters dash across the lifetime for a Dogo Argentino was 28.53 miles per hour while that of a Doberman is 30. 08 miles per hour. So one point to Doberman. Dogo Argentino 3 Doberman 1. Temperament. Looking at these two breeds, you won't see a big difference in temperament. They are known to be reliable, trustworthy, loyal and they form strong bonds with their families becoming totally devoted to them. They boast having a strong protective instinct, although they are gentle and affectionate by nature too. So one point to both. Dogo Argentino 4 Doberman 2 Lifespan The average life expectancy of a Dogo Argentino is in between 10 to 15 years while that of a Doberman is in between 9 to 12 years. So with longer lifespan, 1 point to Dogo Argentino. Dogo Argentino 5 Doberman 2 Exercise and Energy Levels Both the breeds are high maintenance dogs in the exercise department, and ideally need to be taken out for a walk, a minimum of twice a day for a good hour each time. They also need to be given a tremendous amount of mental stimulation, and preferably one that involves playing interactive games with a dog. However, in terms of energy levels, a Doberman has a slight edge over the Dogo Argentino. So one point to Doberman. Dogo Argentino 5 Doberman 3 Kid Friendly Both the breeds are known to be kind and tolerant towards children of all ages because they are so calm and patient, more especially if they are well bred, even tempered dogs. So one point to both. Dogo Argentino 6 Doberman 4 Temperament with other dogs and pets Although the Dogos were bred to be a pack hunting dogs, they can show aggression towards other dogs and pets which is why it's important they be introduced to each other slowly and carefully to make sure things go smoothly. Whereas the Doberman gets on well with the family cat and will tolerate being around other family pets they have grown up with. So one point to Doberman. Dogo Argentino 6 Doberman 5 Powerful Guard Dog In our opinion, a Dogo Argentino is extremely ferocious and a powerful guard dog as compared to a Doberman. So one point to Dogo Argentino. Dogo Argentino 7 Doberman 5. Good choice for first time owners. Among the two, a Doberman is a better choice for first time dog owners. So one point to Doberman. Dogo Argentino 7 Doberman 6. So the winner between the two ferocious dogs is the Argentine Mastiff, Dogo Argentino.